So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Um, today is day 11 of Glide and always on a Sunday we tend to have slightly different vibe, a kind of a, a floor yum kind of thing going on. Um, so today we shall continue in that tradition. So come sit on your mat. Come, come. And then bend your knees and bring your feet so that your, your feet are kind of close to you. And then just begin to squeeze your feet. And so as you squeeze your feet, just get a sense of your toes, maybe the temperature of your toes, uh, the contact of your hands, or just the feeling, just the feeling of squeezing your feet. And then take either the baby finger side of your hand, the thinner of your hand, which is the base of your thumb, your thumb itself, or your knuckles, and just begin to massage into the right arch. So you're just squeezing into the arch of your foot. Just feel that, you know, feel, feel all of that. And just deepen your breath into your belly and enjoy the contact with your foot. With both hands, squeeze up into the ball of your foot, up into your toes, a little bit more on the right. So I'm kind of pushing the big toe, pulling the little toe, pushing the ba baby toe. So I'm kind of wobbling my foot with my thumbs. Nice. And then turn your right foot so it's flat to the floor and rub the front of your foot. Mm, rub your ankle, give it some love. And then lift all your toes off the floor, but push the ball of your foot down. And then push all your toes into the floor so your arch is really high. And then ball of your foot, lift your toes, push your toes in and feel like you're really massaging your feet as you do this. There's a sense of foot, foot. So your feet were built to take pressure. They are designed for it. They are one of the most incredible structures for rebound, for, for force. You know, the, the pressure your foot can take, it takes 50, 60, 70 kilos, whatever you are, all day long. And it can stand on a rock and do that. That's really amazing. Baby toe side down, big toe side down. Baby toe side, big toe side. Baby toe side, big toe side. Great, hold on behind your thigh, uh, holding on so that your calf is free. And then like a windscreen wiper, just turn your foot from left to right. And so as we do that, we're just moving the two bones in our calf, the tibia and the fibula. Nice, then just roll your ankle. And then roll in the other direction. Feel how exhausted <laughs> your foot is. Oh, so yum. Nice, stretch your leg wherever it goes. Bend your knee. Stretch your leg. Bend your knee. Nice, bring your foot back to the floor, other side, with the baby finger side or your thumb or your knuckles. Rub into the arch of your left foot. And really poke deeply. You know, kind of feel the, the knobbly bits, the tender bits. The bits that go, mmm, so yum. Nice, and maybe poke with your two thumbs and then come up into the, uh, the arch of your foot, you know, the ball of your foot and up into all of your toes and just wiggle your foot and see how much movement is naturally there. Because we lock our feet away into shoes, we've lost a lot of the dexterity of our feet. So this is just really important, nutritious movement. It's very nutritious, very nurturing for your feet to feel movement like this. Nice. So bring the foot flat to the floor, rub the front of your foot. Mm, up into your ankle. Nice. And then push the ball of your foot down, lift all your toes. And then push your toes down and push them in. Mm. Ball of your foot, lift your toes, toes down. Mm. Ball of your foot. So when I push my toes down, it's not incredibly comfortable but it feels really good as well. So there's a certain amount of discomfort, but it's in wellness. It's a kind of a squish. I'm just going beyond what I usually typically do with my foot, which is very nice. Nice, hold on to the back of your thigh and then move your foot like a windscreen, a wiper. For me on this side, it's a little bit harder. I broke my leg last year, as a lot of you know. And uh, I just noticed this morning that this movement, is. I, there's a bit of it that I'm not so clear on. I'm like, huh. So I'm going to go and experiment with that later on. I love finding places that I have lack in. And then roll your ankle. 
Nice. And then in the other direction. All right. Straighten your leg. Bend your knee. Mm, straighten your leg. Bend your knee. Nice. Come sit on your bum with your hands and knees on the floor. No. So come sit. <laughs> come into a cat pose and then sit your bum back towards your heels and squish your feet. And then come forward. Tuck your toes under and squish your feet. You just feel that you're squishing your feet as you rock forward. My toes are flat. And then as I rock back, I just feel that rocking forward and back. Every time I sit back, my toes are in a, in a different direction. Squish. Squish. Nice. One more time. Squish. And squish. Nice. Tuck your toes under, push back into your downward dog and let's really feel into your calves. So bring your feet so they're maybe six inches apart. Push your hands down and feel like you're really trying to bring your heels to the floor. Have a sense of lifting your toes, perhaps, or widening your feet. Use all that connection we just created. Come up onto your toes, drop your heels down. Toes, and drop your heels down. One more time. Toes, drop your heels down. Turn your toes back to front and push the front of your foot a bit into the floor. Roll it around a little bit. Maybe roll across your toes. Nice, other side. Push the front of your foot into the floor. Wiggle from side to side or roll across your toes. This should be slightly unpleasant in a good way. Be well in what you're doing. Nice. Lift the right foot up towards the ceiling, lengthening up, lowering down. Lift the left foot up towards the ceiling and lowering down. One more time each side, right foot up, down, left foot up and down. Nice. Come sit on your bum on your mat. Nice. So stretch your arms out long in front of you and roll into your wrists. And then roll in the other direction. Nice. So turn your palms up so you're holding on to two bowls of rice. Okay. And you have to, you can't spill any, or maybe you have potatoes. <laughs> so if you have two bowls of potatoes, just hold on to them there. Okay. And then bring your arms wide, but you keep holding on to the potatoes. <laughs> and draw your arms back as far as they go and now you're going to bring your hands under your armpits but i keep the the bowls upwards and then i bring my arms wide okay so sweep your hands under your armpits bring them forward and out sweep your arms under your armpits and back and out so just feel that there's a under out under out and your bowls are facing the ceiling the whole time so make the movement as small or as big as you need it just feel that out and out nice cool like we did yesterday just drop your arms down reach your right hand to the outside of the left foot and as you do that pull the left hand behind you and then coming up reach the left hand to the outside of the right foot pull the right arm behind you just feel that reaching back behind you, reaching forward, reaching back behind you, reaching forward. And feel like you're trying to get your nose to the knee in front of you. You can also turn your head and try and bring your ear to the knee beside you. I just feel that reaching forward, reaching forward. One more time each side, reaching and reaching nice so um this one so sitting tall reach your right hand behind you and make a fist out of your hand and then turn your chest a little bit more so now i've twisted i'm still my hand is in a fist and my chest is turning really clearly to the right side really slowly listening to your shoulder turn your hand so your fist is facing upwards Turn your fist face down, turn your shoulder forward, bring your hand to the rest on the floor beside you. 
Nice. Reach your hand back. Make a fist. Turn your chest. Turn your fist upwards. Open your palm. Make a fist. Turn your fist downwards. And draw forwards. One more time. Reach back. Make a fist. Roll your shoulder back. Turn your fist upwards. Open your palm. Reach deeply backwards. My left hand is pushing into my left knee or my right knee, whichever one you want. Reach deeply backwards. Yes, make a fist, roll down. Other side. Reach the left hand back, make a fist, turn your chest deeply. So to do that, I'm pushing my hand into my knee and then turn your palm upwards. Wow, the, um, there's this kind of misty rain and all the flowers have like beads of rain on them. Oh, they're so beautiful. Turn your fist downwards, roll forwards. So just feel that, reach back, make a fist, roll your fist upwards, fist down, and chest forward. Last time, reach back, make a fist, roll your shoulder, down and forward. Roll your shoulders deeply. And then roll in the other direction. Nice, one more time, bowls of, bowls of rice. <laughs> potatoes <laughs> bring your hands forward holding on and then scoop your hands under your armpits and bring them wide and as you go wide really feel like you round your chest forward now and then as you reach wide and forward look upwards as your hands go under and out forwards as your hands go under and out forwards reach up last time under reach round forward under arch up nice how cool come into your downward dog just for a moment stretching back lengthening through your body mm, have a bit of a wiggle bending one knee bending the other feeling your heels drop down come up onto your toes heels drop down come up onto your toes nice drop both knees to the floor so your hands are underneath your shoulders your knees are underneath your hips draw your forehead to your knee and your knee to your forehead squeeze deeply and then pull your heel back towards the ceiling as high as you can let your back arch as you do it bend your knee now keep your knee bent draw your forehead towards your knee lift your heel as up and back as you can so begin to swing and sweep in your body forehead to your knee heel rises forehead to your knee Heel rises. One more time. Forehead to your knee. Heel rises. And then try and bring your foot towards the left. And then back to center. Bring your knee to the floor. Foot up and to the left. Knee to the floor. Foot up and left. Knee to the floor. Last time. Up and left knee to the floor great bring your knee to the outside of the left knee so i've tucked it in behind and then knee up towards your shoulder behind to the left and shoulder so you can stay with your knee bent or you can begin to sweep a straight leg around to the left and then forward left forward left forward left forward nice both knees to the floor bring your feet wider than your mat but your knees stay in the middle and then bring your right foot long so my right leg is long my right knees left knees on the floor my left hand is on the floor right hand to your hip sweep your right foot forward and then back forward and back Feel it in the deep of your belly. Forward, back, one more time. Forward, back, nice. Bring your foot to the floor. Walk your hands so that you walk forward. Rise up. So the next movement, we're gonna counterbalance our torso with our arms. So reach your right hand down and towards the left hip and reach your left hand over towards the right. So I'm reaching in two directions as I do this. And then come back to center, change arms. Reach your left hand towards your right hip. Your right hand reaches over. 
Mm, glide. Glide. As always, only go as far as feels like wellness for you. Glide. Mm, glide. One more time. Glide. Glide. Nice. Come down, both hands to the floor, other side. Draw your left knee, left uh, forehead. Lift your left heel as up and back towards the ceiling as you can. Feel the belly opening and the buttock engaging. Your, your back is arching. Knee to your forehead. Heel rises. Knee to your forehead. Heel rises. Knee to your forehead. Heel rises. One more time. Knee to your forehead. Heel rises. Bring your left foot over towards the right. Knee to the floor. Left foot over towards the right. Knee to the floor. Bring your leg up and over towards the right. Floor, last one. Up, over towards the right. And floor. Hop your left knee to the outside of your right knee. Lean into it. And then bring your left knee up towards your left shoulder. Lean into it, knee behind, knee, shoulder. Maybe keep your leg bent, maybe straighten your leg. All the way around the corner, forward. Corner, forward, corner, forward. One more time, corner, forward. <laughs> Both knees to the floor. Bring your feet wide. Bring your left foot long to the back of your mat. My right foot is pointing directly behind me as I do this. Bring your left hand to your hip. Lift your foot up. Left foot forward. Back. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. One more time. Forward. Back. Foot to the floor, rising up. Do the counterbalance. So reach your right hand to the left, left hand to the right. And left hand to the right, left, right hand to the left. You know what I mean? <laughs> and those of you who are new to my yoga, I'm very dyslexic. So left and right sometimes really elude me in the most wonderful way. So just gliding, feeling that in your torso. How does the counterbalance support you to reach further? Super cool. Come all the way down. Come rest into your child's pose for just a moment. Nice. Coming forward into your cat. Bring your right knee forward beside your right hand. Tuck your back toe under. Stretch your back leg long. So if you know that your right knee is struggling with this or your hips for any reason, come into zigzag. So zigzag is where the left knee is bent and your right bum is on the floor. So there's no weight bearing into the knee. Whereas if you're in pigeon, there's weight bearing into the knee. And if you have any knee problems, come into zigzag. So if you're in pigeon, lengthen your arms rising through your belly. Maybe lift the back knee off the floor. If you're in zigzag, just lean deeply until you feel that your hips are engaging and that your belly is lengthening. And just feel, find your distance. Nice, drop your bum to the floor, come into zigzag. So draw your left elbow beside you and then reach your right hand up and this is called Amazonian. It's like I followed a bird up into the canopy and I'm going to try and shoot it with my arrow. <laughs> and then bring your right hand to the floor a little bit back behind you and reach the left hand forward. Maybe you're way forward. Maybe you're just a little bit forward. Amazonian, reach your right hand up. Swimmer, reach your left hand forward. Maybe you don't touch the floor at all. Reach your right hand up. Sweep your right hand back. Swimmer. Left hand back, right hand up. Right hand back, left hand, swimmer. One more time. Amazonian. And swimmer. 
Nice, other side, <laughs> both knees to the floor. Bring your left knee forward, stretch into your right leg. And so either stay there in pigeon, but if your left knee doesn't like weight bearing, then come into zigzag, okay? Back leg is long, lift your back knee off the floor. Fingers are pushing down, rise deeply through your belly. Feel the extension into the back leg, a connection through the body. Nice, drop your knee to the floor, come into zigzag. So draw your right elbow back, reach your left hand up, the Amazonian. Bring your left hand to the floor, glide your right hand forward, swimmer. Right elbow back, left hand up, Amazonian. Hand forward, swimmer. Maybe you don't touch the floor anymore. Left hand up, left hand back, right hand forward, swimmer. You just feel that. How do you really connect to the power of your torso and the strength of your pelvis? Amazonian. Swimmer. One more time. Amazonian. And swimmer. <laughs> so cool. Swing your right foot forward. Come lie on your back. Come rest all the way down. You had quite an active Sunday morning there. <laughs> So funny, I never know which way really it's gonna go. That was really cool. So just resting there, back is on the floor, arms are wide, and just let that settle. So you might be a few, maybe a minute and a half, maybe two minutes longer than usual. Well, that's okay. I'm gonna say that it's Sunday morning and that's okay. So just deepen your breath into your belly and let that settle. You can bring your hands to your belly if you wish. As you inhale, feel the breath fill your belly. And as you exhale, let it settle. And as you deepen your breath, as you slow down and hear the different layers of movement of you, really connect to your wellness. You know, that present time awareness of wellness in this moment is a gift we can give to ourselves. It's one of the deepest resources and one of the deepest places of safety for our nervous system is to know that it is well. So find some place in your body that feels like wellness right now, or remember something that you're really grateful for and feel that in your body, the gratitude for that, or remember something wonderful that has happened. And just feel in your body a sense of wholesomeness, wellness, and where exactly in your body do you feel that? And you're sensing into, deepening into that wellness, okayness, health in this moment in your body. Let your exhalation lengthen. Allow there to be a deeper, slower sense of you as you inhale, as you exhale. A sense of the whole of your body. Can you feel all of your toes, all of your fingers, the contact with the floor? Nice. So you're very welcome to stay there and just really let that settle deeply into your body. Or perhaps you're heading off for a swim or maybe you're going for a run or digging the garden or whatever it is that you do on a Sunday morning. Um, I hope you have a glorious day and uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Another wonderful installation of Glide. Mm, just so loving this, so inspired by these series of movements. Um, I will see you all then and ciao. So as always, I'm so grateful for the community, this tribe of people. Uh, people often ask me, you know, so is it getting really big? And I'm like, not really, no, it's just us. It's us that are continuing on. There's this amazing sense of this band of yogis that I, I know almost all of you, actually, which is really quite amazing. Um, and if I don't know you, I've come to know you, like in South Africa. Wow, I just love, I love the connections to different places in the world. You know, Germany, South Africa, America, my cousins there, uh, friends from all over. 
uh, new people, but because of the emails and the texts and the connections there, I feel like I know you. And it's, yeah, it's very inspiring to me to be in this gang of awesomeness. Um, so be well today. Make choices that bring resources and wellness to you. Um, be awesome. Yeah, think of the, the highest sense of you. What is the greatest version of you you can be today? How do you have the, the courage to be that? And yeah, be you. Um, such a beautiful thing to be. It's what you're best at. So ciao for now. And yeah, so much gratitude and um, 